So, my name is Vivian. I was in here earlier talking to y'all. This is the pediatric in-service team. This is Dr. Alyssa. She's a senior resident. This is Dr. Taryn. She's the intern. And this is my attending, Dr. Pomeroy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, I'm just going to talk to them about what we discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. If I say anything wrong, feel free to interrupt me. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So Ashley is two weeks old, and she was admitted to clinic or admitted from clinic today with a fever, and uh, mom checked it um, in Ashley's armpit. It was 100, 102 degrees, and when we checked it rectally, it was 101.5. Um, she also noticed some nasal drainage and some fussiness, but she's been feeding well, right? Yeah. She's been breastfeeding yes. normally. Mm -hmm normal amount and everything. Um, she's had no trouble breathing. She's had four bowel movements in the last uh, day and they've been yellow and seedy, which is good. And she's had eight wet diapers in the past 24 hours with no um, odor change, no color change, no extra amount. Um, you both said she's been moving around well. Right, right? yeah. And um, she reacts to your voices and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's had no other problems besides the fever and a little bit of congestion and the fussiness. Not that we've noticed. Good. Okay. Um, Ashley was born at 39 weeks uh, via spontaneous vaginal birth, and your water broke around the time you delivered. Yes, right? that's right. Um, mom and dad are married and monogamous. Um, they don't have any other children, but... They did have some school age cousins visit last week, but they seemed well when they were around we didn't her. Anything, yeah. yeah, I can call my brother and ask okay. if he wants to. <laughs> um, they've had she's had no other sick contacts um, and no significant previous family history, um, no infectious concerns. Can I ask one quick question? Well, do you remember if when you were pregnant they did that GBS screen? That bacterial screen. Do you remember if it was positive or negative? I think they told me it was negative. Okay, yeah, you didn't get any antibiotics during labor? No. Okay, okay. go ahead. Good. Uh, so when I looked at Ashley this morning, she was sleeping in mom's arms, um, very peaceful. Um, she weighs 3.8 kilograms and is 53 centimeters long. Her head circumference is great at 35.5 centimeters. She was running a little bit of a fever at 101.4, and her heart rate is a little fast because of the fever at 170 beats per minute. She was breathing well at 60, th uh, 36 breaths per minute and her BP was very good at 84 over 42, so those are all good. Um, her soft spot is flat and open, and um, her lips aren't dry, so she's not dehydrated, but she did have some a little bit of clear nasal discharge. Um, her lungs sounded clear throughout, but there was a little bit of uh, transmitted noise, which is from the discharge, okay. and that's normal to hear. Um, her heart's beating a little faster than normal because of the fever, but her heart sounds were good. Um, no murmurs or anything like that. Um, her pulses were also good at 2 plus, and um, her color returned to her fingernails within, within 2 seconds, which is good, so she's not dehydrated. Um, when I felt her tummy, it was soft and it sounded normal. Um, I couldn't feel her spleen or her liver, which is excellent, that's what you want. Um, her diaper area is normal, no rashes, and she's warm and moving her arms and legs normally. Uh, when I scared her a little bit, she reacted like she was supposed to, and her reflexes are all present. Uh, she can also focus on my pin when it's about 10 inches away from her face. Um, so, because of her fever and her age, we're concerned about infection, right? Um, her body, normally it's viral, but if it, her body isn't ready to handle a bacterial infection, so we're going to do some tests okay. on her okay. to figure out what it is. Um, so we're going to start an IV on her, which is scary, I know, uh, but the nurses are really good at doing that. Um, and so we're going to get some blood with the IV, and we're going to check the blood for infection-fighting um, cells, and we're also going to check to see if any bacteria are growing in the blood. We're also going to put in a little catheter to check her urine, uh, for those same cells, the infection-fighting cells, and to see if any bacteria is growing in the urine. Um, and we're also going to do a spinal tap, uh, which is what? scary. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so um, my attending can explain what that is. Yes. So did you have an epidural when you were um, in labor? I did. I had it. It's very similar to that where we put a little needle in the 
patient's back. Okay. And we just do it far enough so that we can get fluid back. That's the fluid that's around the patient's brain. Okay. So we'll get that fluid out. Your baby's bodies make it back. And so when we take it, she'll, she'll start replacing that fluid right away. And then we will test that fluid too, just like we test her blood and her urine. Is it a safe procedure? Any yes, risk? It's, okay. it's pretty safe. Um, and we definitely will have lots of nurses there. I will be there. The residents will be performing the procedure. Um, it's a fairly routine procedure, but I'll be there to supervise. Okay. okay. Um, we won't have all the results back for one to two days, but we will have some of them back within one to two hours. And it won't, those results won't tell us if she has an infection, but it will say if it's likely what, what infection, what kind of infection she has. Okay. Um, both of you can stay in the room with her and for sure keep breastfeeding like you were, like you have been. Um, and now we're going to start some antibiotics on her. Do y'all have any questions? Um, no, I think y'all covered it all. Do you? No. Um, can we, we can stay with her? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can stay with her the entire time. Okay. And have we talked to pharmacy? Yes, I did talk to pharmacy, and the antibiotics are ready, so we just need to do the procedure, um, get the cultures, and then we can proceed with um, antibiotic treatment. Okay. The nurses say that the treatment room is ready. Perfect. So it's important that we get these things done quickly. Okay. So, and like she said earlier, y'all are more than welcome to accompany us to the treatment room, and you can go ahead and stay with her the entire time the procedure is happening. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, appreciate it.